The Denver Film Festival highlighting several movies focused on Colorado. And Dominic Garcia shows us how one film centers on a plant that is revealing the history of a people. Rosa Arkansana or with Rosa Woods Eye. In a greenhouse at the Denver Botanic Gardens, a mystery is unfolding. And we still haven't gotten them to bloom here on, on site. These roses were found on the site of the Amachi internment camp in southeast Colorado. And the roses don't actually exist naturally in that environment. So we know that they had to have been planted um, by the Japanese American people during World War II. Producer Billy Canale has made a film about the discovery and its significance. So this is a very important piece of history because it's one of those things that for so long we just swept it under the rug and ignored it. The internment camp is gone now, but these roses are a window into how internees live there. So within a very short time, they were planting trees, planting gardens. That in itself was very significant into the survival and um, the ability to endure, to endure the incarceration. These roses have endured 80 years without care or attention, and now horticulturists at the Botanic Gardens are propagating the plants. Because our goal in the project is to get them to a size um, where they will start to bloom, and we can figure out a little bit more of what kind of rose and unravel a little bit more of the mystery. Of Further unraveling the mystery of what life was like to be imprisoned in America because of your ethnicity. It's very important that we talk about these things so it never happens again. The Amachi Roses are a living testament to a dark time, just as the film Amachi Rose documents their journey into light. I'm Dominic Garcia, covering Colorado First. The Botanic Gardens will be working with Tag Tagawa Gardens to reproduce those roses, which will eventually be available for sale. We can buy them. Amanti Rose is one of nearly 230 film screenings during the Denver Film Festival. We have a link to that schedule for you at cbscolorado.com.